Pixel Experience Plus Android 11 on K20 Pro. If you're watching this, you have the same device and you want to try, do not miss the bugs area else you will regret it. Without wasting any more time, let's directly start this video. First things first, let's have a look at if this ROM comes with any bloatware installed. For all those people who are new to Pixel Experience, let me tell you. This is the best ROM or used to be the best ROM in my eyes that literally does not provide any bloatware whatsoever. So the ROM does come installed with Play Store so you can download everything that you want from here. But rather than that, you would not get any other applications that you would need to uninstall. It's the most cleanest experience that you can get with a custom ROM that is made for performance and is just best in class. Now let's talk about the animation smoothness. So people who are using this ROM for the first time, Pixel Experience, as I call it, Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus are the best ROMs that could rule the world. And I'm not even kidding, this ROM is heavily optimized in terms of performance to give you the best experience in terms of every single small niche and corners that you'll be performing. Let it be the opening of any application, closing of application, notification pullout, going to an application, going back, locking, coming out, unlocking, scrolling, everything will be smooth, like smooth, really smooth. You would not feel any jitter or any frame drop whatsoever whenever you are surfing any application. And this is one of the best things about this ROM, honestly. And that's what makes Pixel Experience worth living for. Now let's have a look at customization options. Now last review that I made was of Evolution X Android 11 and if you haven't watched it, I'll leave a link here on the iCard where you can click and watch that. But Evolution X just has extreme level of customization, whereas Pixel Experience comes with two different variants. One being Pixel Experience and one being Pixel Experience Plus. I've tested both in the last week and which is why I know that in Pixel Experience you will not have any customization options. It's just gonna be like a stock Android, no customization of custom rooms available much on Pixel Experience. But the one that I have installed here is Pixel Experience Plus. It's still Android 11 and the upside of this ROM, this version of ROM, is that you get some options to customize. Now in this ROM, you don't really have an Evolver setting out here where you can find the customization. Rather, it's present on system. And when you go inside the system, you just have to expand this to be able to see some gestures and some customization options present in this ROM. So like for example, we have this gestures options where you can see couple of options present here like for example swipe to screenshot this is not available in pixel experience but is available on pixel experience plus three finger screenshot check then on power menu you can have these device controls available just like i have already set it for my smart lamp which is already turned on and you can add other things here as well then you have advanced restart this is also something that's missing from pixel experience build so if you hold here and you click on restart, you will be able to see these options here, which is called restart, advanced restart. And when you go back, two backs, and you'll be landed up to the status bar. And here you will see all these customization options, which are originally not present in Pixel Experience. So traffic monitor on the top, which at this time is hidden because there's an auto hide option here. So you can keep that off or on depending upon how you want to set the speed according to you. Then system icons, you can select which ones you would like to get rid of from the status bar when they're active. Double tap to sleep, clock position, which is left, right, center. And then you have show seconds where if you tap this on, you will see the seconds appear on the top here. Then battery style, you can select three different options. It's not much, but it's something better than pixel experience, which does not have any customization option at all. Then you can even set the battery percentage inside next to it or hidden then brightness sliders you can select those quick pulls is available and then number of rows and columns that you would want quick settings to have at this moment it's three by three with space in between that's how i like it now let's have a look at the camera here so you don't get anything fancy in this room this is a stock android 11 camera no gcam no nx in the last evolution x video 
If you still haven't watched, go have a look. I'll leave the link in the description. But there also the same camera was available, which I removed and put ANX and then shared the samples with you. But this time I thought of sharing the samples of just this camera. And for your knowledge, you cannot have your telephoto camera here or 48 megapixel mode. No, nothing. This is just basic camera with one mode of photo and one mode for video. The video that is being taken, you can change the recording size and recording quality that's in the settings. But rather than that, besides that, you cannot use your ultra wide lens or telephoto lens, nothing. So I'll share the samples of camera and let me know in the comment section below what you think of the camera quality of this specific application. Now let's have a look at the battery performance of this Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus. Now before I go any further and you decide or not to decide to install this ROM on your phone, mark my words, be very careful. Because with my specific build which is K20 Pro, remember to sleep with this and keep this in your pocket every time because you are gonna need it. Now what I mean to say with it is that the battery backup of this ROM on my specific device which is K20 Pro is as good as shit and this is something that you can see yourself like I was shocked to see the amount of time that I was getting on one full charge now this here 5 hours 39 minutes is because phone has been charged multiple times and if you see here this is what you can see YouTube vanished even though YouTube I don't really watch that much YouTube on my phone it's still taking 113% of the battery usage whatsapp 35% and these applications are not even running half of the time that's so strange and if you look at the graph i never had this graph in my entire life look at this i started recording the video with 58% of the battery and right now while recording i didn't do much it's 34% right now i've had some interesting experience with this pixel experience look at the battery here the way that it dropped and all these applications I barely use. I literally don't even use WhatsApp these days and still somehow this is like that. And if you are asking me that probably the application might be running in the background, that's not true because I force stopped it and it should not be technically running it. But somehow the battery, you can see it's dropping like this and then it rises up when the battery was 10% remaining. And you can see here too, the battery graph is like horrible. And when I click on it, it usually says that your battery is working fine, but this says phone used more than usual. And these are the applications. I forced stop all these three applications, but still things were happening. So if you ask me, what is the biggest concern a phone user has when he's installing a ROM? Well, I think you should be very afraid of your phone if it is getting too warm. And this ROM has made me experience that point where I actually wanted to throw my phone in one corner and run away because it became so warm. Now, as you know, the build quality of K20 Pro is glass with metal. It became so warm that I was pretty sure that I could roast an egg on it. It was literally that warm and at some point I literally just kept it on the table and ran away for my life so that I would not be in a place where it might explode. And whenever I was using it, after 5 seconds of use, 10 seconds of use, it would again blow up with the temperature. Alright, let's see the gaming performance of this Pixel Experience Plus on K20 Pro with Android 11 build. Before we begin, let me tell you that the settings of this game has been put to extreme max. So this is the maximum settings that you can play on and I think the phone's gonna blow up like blow up with heat as far as the performance issues I think whatever issue that we will face would be because of the heat that's gonna be underclocking our processor but rather than that it should be fine besides my hands getting grilled because of the metal that's already getting warm enough so we are off to a good start here and let's get some kills Yeah, got the first kill. That's good.
Now as far as the performance goes of this ROM, in terms of gaming you would not find any issues. It's just as good as Evolution X, so you would have a very smooth experience besides one issue which I already told, actually two issues. So first issue would be this, battery. Battery already dropped to 20, 29% and the phone is boiling up. The sides are already quite warm, the back is super warm too. And it's getting so hot that it's quite uncomfortable for you to touch it. So if you're a gamer and if you want to install this ROM on a phone which you would be preferring for gaming, don't do that. Your phone's gonna blow up. Rather, I would ask you to stick for Evolution X because that was a very good ROM. Now let's talk about the bugs in this ROM. And starting with the bugs, the first and the foremost, which is the most important bug or most annoying rather I would say, is the battery issue. And this issue is quite drastic and it would be one of those features that's not features, I mean bugs, that's not gonna help in any way for you to use this ROM as your daily driver. So I would rather recommend stick to something else and leave Pixel Experience for now until this becomes quite stable and then it would be fine because I know the ROM can do quite well. It has got the potential and smooth enough. The only lacking is the optimization of the battery and somehow it's quite worse. Now the second issue that I've had with this room is while calling. So if you're on call and if you want to utilize your lovely earphone jack to call and speak with someone over the earphones, it's not gonna work. The other person might not be able to hear you at all, like literally not at all. And I've tried with different earphones and tried calling different people. They all complained that they were not able to hear me even though I was. So coming on to the point where if you should be using it as your daily driver, my quick answer, no, don't do that. It's gonna ruin your battery performance and I even think in this seven days of me where I tested this ROM along with Pixel Experience, normal version, it would have impacted my battery quite a lot. But since at this time I only have this phone which has a lot of development and I only have this phone to test out the ROMs, I didn't have much options rather to stay and survive for a week. I had to charge at least 5 times a day and then even then still end up in the morning with the phone turned off because it will just magically turn off because even if you are not using your phone the battery will still drain. Now before I even ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel, imagine you stuck with a ROM on your phone for 7 days which has so intense heating issues that you feel that your device is gonna blow any moment and this is the only device that you have at this moment and you cannot change the room and the battery drops like this I think all that deserves a like right so like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or if you want me to test a specific room because these days I'm on room hunt and I'll be catching you guys next week with another video. Until then, take care.